So uh, today, I'm, uh, I'm actually gonna take you guys by my new warehouse. Uh, today's video is gonna be about uh, just business today. Kinda, kinda gonna go through some, uh, some business struggles that I've been having because I, I want this uh, channel to be transparent, especially for you small business owners uh, or maybe people that potentially wanna be a small business owner. Kinda the truth about, you know, I guess how hard or easy it can be depending on the day and some of the stuff that you deal with. So. Uh, let's head over to the warehouse and uh, we'll kind of go through uh, that. I'm excited to show you uh, what it is. It's new. I'm I currently moving stuff over from my storage unit. So uh, it has some pros and some cons. So here is my, uh, my current space. Um, as you can see, all I have left here is my Christmas trees. Uh, I've got some of my bigger property, commercial properties here that are just too heavy for me to carry uh, by myself. And then got some personal stuff that we're getting ready to get rid of that we kind of moved in here <laughs> when we uh, when we moved here and are just now kind of getting to it. And so uh, I'm moving it from this storage unit to my new warehouse. So uh, we're gonna head there next and check it out. I'm headed into Lowe's um, real quick. Gotta grab some, uh, some two by fours because I'm building some shelves in the uh in my warehouse and uh, i thought i had enough stuff but uh gonna go in here um maybe we should start off with the bad news first get that over with before we head over to the um to the warehouse so remember my employee ender got it done in um and he started working with me and my hope was to you know be able to stay busy during the summer and uh, this would be my first summer in naples so i didn't really know what to expect but we do a lot of patio lights and pool scones uh like uh, lights that mount on pool cages uh, which everybody in florida has a pool cage so you'd think there'd be a lot of business for that but it's been a little bit of a struggle if i'm being honest I wasn't able to keep, um, I wasn't able to keep him busy. I mean, we were getting calls, uh, you know, we're doing a couple of jobs a week, but he has kids and a family and he's married and he has responsibilities. And as a man, I understand that. Uh, both of him, I've been praying so hard for more work, more calls. And, um, you know, it's just, I'm happy that he found something, you know, to be honest, but I'm sad because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him back for Christmas last season. And, I have him trained and he's good and uh, I enjoy him. So that's kind of just the hard part about being a boss, man, is I kind of feel like, I don't know, I don't want to say a loser, but I kind of feel bad that I couldn't, couldn't drum up enough work to keep him and me busy. And so I'm just trying to kind of figure out what God's doing and, and why and what's coming and just try to be prepared and try to keep my head up and just try to keep moving on. It's really, really kind of sucks, honestly. <laughs> Uh, but like I said, I'm happy for him and I'm just praying that, uh, you know, things will turn around. My, uh, my phone has not rang in really like, uh, well, it's, I, I shouldn't say that it hasn't rang, but people are wanting Christmas light estimates, which is really awesome. Uh, but Christmas lights isn't for like, I mean, this is May, so October. So, I mean, even if I get the job again, awesome that I'm getting it, but, uh, you know, I'm not getting paid until november you know for it so uh that isn't doing me any good right now bringing in money during the summer to keep my employees and so uh as far as like for lanai lights or patio lights i mean i just my phone hasn't really been ringing at all and i'm spending quite a bit of money uh on google ads and uh search engine optimization i'm doing all the right stuff it's just not coming and so um again i just want to be transparent that you know just because you open a business uh, it doesn't mean that it's just gonna just take off for you. And so, um, you know, it's just a grind, man. Uh, not everybody's cut out for it, but uh, I'm faithful and, uh, or I'm not faithful, I'm I'm faithful in the process, I guess. Like I'm, I'm gonna stick with it and I can continue to, continue to grind it out. So this is it. The, this is uh, obviously not my warehouse. This is a really, really big warehouse. And this is my little corner. I got from the stairs all the way over. These are all my tubs and my wreaths and my globes. And uh, it goes all the way to here. 
So, uh, you know, I wish I could just, I had this awesome story of like this brand new standalone building that was all my biggest competitors in town has a building literally like four, four doors down that is their own building. It's got a nice paint job, big old lot. All their lift trucks are out there and it's just, it's what I want. But uh, so every day I got to drive by that and look at like, and they keep kicking my butt too. So um, I guess the moral of the story is that, uh, you know, it's, it's not what I want, but it's the next best thing that I can I can do right now. It's the best I can do with the money that I have uh, to improve my product. Um, it's a little bit better. Yes, I have my shirt off because it's hot. No fans up here. Uh, these lights, um, I had to actually move from down there to here. Uh, so this window is my only AC up here right now. And uh, so I'll get some fans eventually, but it's all cost, man. It's all stuff that costs, all these shelves uh, that I built uh, here uh, to store some of my stuff. Um, I'm gonna build some more over here today, which is what I went and got the material for. Um, and I'm just getting ready for the season. Uh, it's, it's good enough and I'm really happy to have what I have. And as I grow, uh, it'll continue to get better. I'm a big Kobe Bryant fan. He says, uh, or he did say uh, in an interview once uh, that, uh, you know, the best part of 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 it all is really is the journey um it's not the championship like yeah you enjoy you enjoy the championship for like one day but when you look back on your career or your building of your business you know it's really like this when i when i get that next warehouse uh that is mine i'm gonna think man i'm so glad that i took that spot i'm gonna learn something from here i'm gonna learn things that work what don't work and then when i do get to that next level which i will get there um, you know, I'll think back to this and it's going to be that journey of remembering when, man, I just was dying to get this warehouse and then I finally did. And I was just dying to get a bucket truck and then I finally bought it. And so, uh, you know, that's just, it is, man. It's part of the journey. It's what's probably the funnest part about owning a business is not just being successful right off the gate, but really helping to figure it out and um, really just kind of... I don't know, just digging deep, man. Uh, so, you know, just keep your head up. You know, if you're if you're in the same boat uh, or if you're trying to build your business, um, you know, just stick with it, man. Don't give up. It's not going to be easy. Anything that's good is not going to come easy and you're going to have to work for it. So, uh, you know, the competitor that I was talking about earlier, uh, they've also been in the game for 20 to 30 years. So, you know, it's easy to look at that, but they didn't just open up last year like me. So, you know, you just got to keep going, man.